right? I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. Thanks. How did you know? I need ingredients. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus, asking for the Adventurer Guild's support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned your situation too, and asked if we could help. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick, and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lamp grass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you've got to help out your friends, right? If my family, uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this. A jumpy donkey? Yeah, it's a lazy, dopey, jumpy donkey that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can be best friends. Are you sure? Yep. Jumpy donkey will be happy to make a new friend, too. I... Also happy for you. Never knew Bennett is like me. When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. 